Welcome to Tiger Wolf. I'm Josh, and this is David. Please be aware, this podcast contains strong language and spoilers. Welcome to Shitty Game Reviews, Langrisser Edition. Wait, wait, wait. We're doing a mobile game? I mean... It's good, but I mean... It's, it's really good. It's, it's, I'd say it's large enough to be a not mobile game. They just put it on mobile. That's fair. <clears throat> so, so, so what were your first takeaways on it? Um... Oh god, it's gonna be another one of those gotcha, hey, you gotta buy crystals to get better characters. Yeah, that's that that's what that was my initial takeaway. Yeah, I no, I'm with I'm with you on that. But I mean most of the basic characters that you get aren't terrible. I've been using basically the starting team. I'm only on like chapter four or five. Um, I've been basically using exclusive. Oh my god, what the fuck is that cute fucking thing? It's, it's my favorite character. That's what that is. Oh, uh, mine, mine is the <laughs> the guy that's on his Pegasus team. I guess Lance. His name is Lance. Oh, Lance. Okay, he's a dragon rider for me. So, is it dragons? Yeah, I thought it was like Pegasus. mine's dragons. I don't think mine's dragons. Um, yeah, no. Like I totally thought the same thing about the gotcha. I was like, all right, well. I'll try it. Yeah, the gameplay is... That is not what he's writing in mine. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. I don't have it installed right now because I just reset my phone. But That's the cute furry thing. Oh my god, it's a dog bat. <laughs> it's a dog bat that's currently Severus on the field. Nice. Um, the gameplay is solid. Like, it's... It's a, a good simple, tactical... It's a simple, well-made tactical RPG. Yeah, I. That's the reason I was like, all right, I'll try it because I saw it was a tactical RPG, and those are probably I did, my I did favorite. A little, I did a little bit of research on it, and it was like it's created by the people, like people who grew up playing the original Langrisser games, yeah, and absolutely loved them, and then got the permission to do this um, because there hasn't been a new Langrisser or even offshoot game in a in, while. Yeah, I think it's been like fifteen years or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And this, I mean, honestly, this does it justice. I think it's definitely on par with basically most tactical games that I've played or seen. Yeah, I it. I mean, excluding something like XCOM because it's a very different style. Yeah, it's a different style of tactical With combat. Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics yeah. Ogre, but um, Sukaden Tactics. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Bahamut Lagoon. Ooh, wow, you're going you're going deep, aren't That's you? That's one of my favorites. It's scary. Like it's super Hey, you say it right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Are you proud of me? Um All right, that was a short episode. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the um like the stories it's very heavily related to the older games. Well, I mean, cuz it's gotcha. Yeah, it's but it's heavily related to the older games. So, but what's nice is they've got that the time rift thing where it actually gives you important parts well, from it, the older games. I mean, it's not just nice; it's literally required. Where I'm at right now is I have to do some more missions in there in order to continue. Yeah. Um. Or I just did them, and I just haven't continued. I, I don't know. I don't know if my save file is still going to exist when I re-download it. But some of the. Uh, like the character designs are very the character designs are very old school RPG with the really huge shoulder pads. Think Fire Emblem. Yeah. Also another decent tactical mobile game, but also but not this good. Yeah. Um like I said, my favorite my favorite character was actually the first person I summoned. Like with the actual summon, the gold well, summon. Lance was the first person I summoned. But it's a juggler. He's a, it, as Josh described him, it's a dog bat. He has the ability to shape shift. Uh, right now I have him as a Severus. Bat dog. 
No, oh, God, don't. Bat dog. This is not about Ace, the bat Alone in the world is a little bat dog. I don't even... I don't even know what to say to you right now. How do you feel about the up, the class upgrades? It's... Because where I am right now, they are I like that there's hard. choices. I like that there's choices to it. To get the pieces for. Because, like, we've both played uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Yes. Or, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Um, and there's not really choices there. No, it's there's there's other ones I've played that have from... choices, but they're not tactical. <laughs> Actually, one of the other ones I, I really enjoyed, which is pseudo tactical. Uh, basically, pick your team and you can put them on a grid. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like six or three by three. Yeah, grid, and you can you can move them around to fight and stuff like that. But most of them don't need to. Um, it was really fun. I can't remember the name of that one. Um, but it, I like that there's choices. I like, I like that your men can be a different type than you. Yeah, that's because because the way it is is that not just it. a unit like a person. You're a unit like a military unit. Like it's you and your men. Yeah, kind of like how uh or women keep I guess, them under fire. Was. Women? Yeah, there are female ones. I have I've only seen like the lancers and the archers and but like keep them under fire was like that. You had the main character, and then you had the unit they command. Which was fun, but we haven't gotten another one of those in a while. But yeah, that's his original design. That's Bat Cat. Mm-hmm. And I've got him currently as a Severus. His step up from that is a Behemoth. I've not, I, see, I haven't gotten any bestial type He's the only creatures. bestial character that I've. So he seen. goes from sacred beast. He could be a Cilia or a time, time map, but you chose Cerberus, which looks kind of like a behemoth from Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, that's what he. Goes oh, that's to that's the behemoth. next one. Yeah, sorry. Oh, the Cerberus is just a bat dog. Yeah, it's a bat dog. It's just Dobermans instead of fluffy fucker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I. He's. I could have had Bahamut. Yeah, I, I. You can switch to master the classes. All right. And when you master the classes, I'm get just a saying. Boost. I would expect you to get Bahamut first. Yeah. I thought about it. I did heavily. Being your favorite summons, but from Final Fantasy. Yes, but I was like, eh, but but he it's wasn't a puppy. Fifteen was he? Yes. He's not a summon, but he is in 15. He helps you in the fight against... Right. Uh, right. Ifrit? Yeah. No. No. I can't Shiva's think of the name. one that helps you in a fight against Ifrit. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Wait, did he help you in the fight against Yeah, he Ifrit? helped you in the fight against Yeah, because Shiva Ifrit wasn't also. quite enough or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. I think he also helps you against at the end. He's the one that talks to you when you go into Crystal, too. Yeah. But I mean, like, that fight against Ifrit was was awesome. But that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> like I said, the character designs are very old school anime. I know what you mean. She doesn't have pauldrons. <laughs> Lance, yeah, I know, I know. Lance is all about that shoulder protection. Yeah. <laughs> Lance has got shoulders for days. <laughs> that lady got three shoulders, <laughs> shoulder pauldrons. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it, well, I mean, it reminds me of like. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's like it's funny to see Fist this of the design North Star. Now. They have like four articles of clothing. One of them is shoulder pauldrons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. It's like tight jeans, uh, jean vest. T- Tank top. Well, yeah, okay, tank top. And shoulder pauldrons. <laughs> <laughs> and boots. <laughs> yeah, can't forget the boots. The boots are important. But yeah, like, it just... Well, I mean, they're also, like, they're the characters from back then, so, like, they're not going to completely redesign yeah, them, I, otherwise they'll lose saying. their... It's, I like the fact that it's the old-style designs. I don't like the main character so much. <laughs> But at the same time, he's he's useful. He's just got the shortest walk range. 
Ever. Ever, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, if he happens to be in range to actually do something, he's useful. Yeah, or he's he about also, to get murdered by Calvary. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Those are your options. Um, I love how he looks like a ninja character and is otherwise nothing at all like a ninja character. <laughs> What's your... Oh, you can't look, but... No, I can't. I can't look at the... I can get him as a ninja. Yeah, I mean, it was all, I don't know, I know Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's the one I got when I did the question thing at the beginning. Yeah. I got a I was like, all right. and Shadow were the options I got because of the questionnaire. It would take me like an hour to download this game, re-download it. But she is probably one of my second favorite characters. She's a dragon rider, like Lance's. How do you use guitars on a dragon? I don't ask questions. It's too late. I don't have the answer for that. But her talent is the reason I like her. Talent is wild princess, of course. When no friendly units are within two blocks, all damage taken is reduced by 10%. It also... Whenever Wild Princess activates, she gets to go again. It doesn't say that. It happens every time. It is so useful. <laughs> it's murder enemy. Murder enemy. Oh, now they're all coming to kill me. Dude, I need something like that on Lance. <laughs> Lance is a beast. Yeah. He like I'm like, all right, I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh, it's Lance's turn. Let's go kill this one. Yeah. Over there yeah, on the other way side. Way over of the there. Map. Lance, go murder him. <laughs> Oh, Lance, uh, next turn I'm going to need you to pick up the secret item on this stage. <laughs> yeah, the one that's in that far corner over there, the yeah. other side from you. Yes, you'll, you'll get there. Hopefully you make it turn. there before all the enemies. Well, two <laughs> turns. Hopefully you make it there before uh, all the enemies are dead. But yeah, the storyline so far for me, because I'm on, like I said, somewhere either 16 or 17 is where I'm at for the, the actual story of the game. It's been... It's not a bad story. It feels very much like old school, old school RPG. Village is attacked. We have to flee. Why are we in a floating city now? Whatever. Oh, hey, you're not a bad. You're not such a bad person. You're on the other side, but you're not a bad person. I kind of like. Oh, you're dead. Oh shit. Oh, they resurrected you-, you as a zombie. Fuck you guys. <laughs> or oh, the leader guy. Uh, that you have to, like, the first few memory fights, you're against him. Uh, Leon? Yeah. Yeah. That dude, like, I'm like, man, I like you. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I respect you. Go away. I respect you to death. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's it's definitely a surprisingly fun game. I was a lot more hesitant to try it than... What was deserved? I mean, it's got the, you know, yeah, it's got the standard mobile game things. Hey, you can buy crystals. And with those crystals, you can get stuff. Well, yeah, but it's also one of the ones that, that kind of offsets that with all the um, ridiculously easy quests and stuff you complete just by playing. Yeah. That gets you bonuses and things. Yeah. Um, the That's, arena is, it's an arena. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, the secret rooms or secret realms, which you unlock later, it's basically a bunch of things that you can do daily to get bonuses from. Yeah. Um, like you can fight a dragon. Uh, it's the goddess trial. Uh, is the bomb still locked there? Or is that just the no, it's, that's just a symbol. Um, How does your phone work? You tap it. How, where's the back? Back. Okay. You don't have it. Okay. Oh, you mean that back. Okay. <laughs> and my phone denies nice. I don't like this. This is why I didn't like the Kindle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of my phone. Okay. But the game's fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. You have the bat dog as your... Oh, yeah. yeah. He's my favorite character. Okay. 
Mine's the 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 Lance dude in the main team. <laughs> I really like him because it's like it's him or it's Lance killing people. That's basically <laughs> <Okay>. it. <laughs> That's fair. Um almost all of my characters are around level 30. They're between 25 and 30, I think. Mine are all 12 right now. But like the the secret realm and then there's like a a gym basically <laughs> not g e m like a training yeah like a training gym um one of them you can get experience potions from by doing oh nice and the other you get uh pieces of gear that you can then train your soldiers with to make them stronger what do you think about the events in it? Have you participated in any of the events uh, that have come up? So I've tried some of the joint events or the joint battles. That's kind of weird, but really cool at the same time to me. Because you're literally playing with two other people at the same time in this tactical battle. Like they control two people, you have two people, and then the third person has two people. And you're trying to take out the enemy group working together. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's weird because I'm not used to having that kind of interaction in this sort of a game. Oh, dude, that reminds me. But um, it's, it's fun. On on a different note, there's a there's a new Final Fantasy game out that has something like that for multiplayer. Hmm. It plays like old school Final Fantasy turn based RPG. Yeah, but it's called. Um, What's the fighting game called? Oh, it's the Dissidia one? Yeah. Okay. I think it's just called Dissidia because it's it has... Multiple heroes from... Yeah. I don't know if it has entire... gotcha going on or what. Um, right. Oh, no. That's right. It does. But the characters don't level up the weapons do or some shit like that. Yeah. Like So you can use whatever characters you want, basically. Yeah. It, which I thought was a great idea because that's usually the, the issues I have with gotcha games. Is um, you know I really like that. Yeah, character. I like that character, but he's a punk, <laughs> like or 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 you know what have you. We just luck out and accidentally get a high tier gladiolus, a fluffy dog. <laughs> well, I got no for uh, my brave Exvius. Oh yeah, one of my first pulls was the highest tier for gladiolus. Oh Jesus! Uh, and one of the next tier down for um. Zell. Zell. Uh, they did so much damage so I, early in the game. I think my favorite character from Glad from Brave Exvius that I got was actually my favorite character from Tactics. This is SGR mobile game edition. Yeah, apparently. Uh Delita? No. Elgr A Agris. The Delita's Holy Knight. your favorite character from Tactics. He's my favorite character. She's my favorite playable character. <laughs> He's playable. No, he's not. And like, he's a guest. You don't control him at all. Get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> you play fights and he's in them. Yes, but Agris stays with you in your team. Even when she gets level 99, her feet don't hurt. Fucking pansies. Sorry, that was... What are you talking about? You, you never had that happen? I've never bothered to level a character... Up to 99 in a game where you can beat it at 40. So your generic characters. No. Okay. You know, your chemist, your knight, your archer, so on and so forth. Oh, they retire. Yeah. They Automatically? Hit, at level 99, they go, my feet hurt, I'm done, and leave your party. I mean, <laughs> they reached level 99. They're, they were done. <laughs> yeah, they don't need to. We're good. I I, I can rule the world now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, like I said, you can beat that game at like level fifty. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Like most Final Fantasies, actually, fifty to sixty-five, depending on the Final Fantasy, and whether or not it's good. Yeah, no, I mean whether or not you can beat it. No, I mean usually if you can beat it at fifty, then it's actually a good story. If you can beat it at sixty-five, then it's Final Hallway thirteen. Final Fantasy VIII was the one that was like 65. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones you can beat at like 50, 55. Probably. It's just that last fucking castle is so goddamn annoying. Um, 
I believe that last castle is your level, whatever. You, well, I think all of eight actually is your level, whatever you are. No, what I mean by it's annoying is they lock everything, and you have to go beat this boss to unlock the ability to just Yeah, they attack. got the idea from Wild Arms. Go over here, beat this guy to get your magic back. It wasn't bag. fun in Wild Arms either. Mm. Wild Arms 4. I will say 4? Or actually, Wild three. Arms 4 might have come out after 8. I don't remember. Mm. All right, well, anything else you want to talk about, Langrisser? Um... I, I'm not that far in the story. I mean, there's there are already questions I have for the story. Like, okay, this character's clearly part demon, but he doesn't know that. This other chick who randomly pops up knows that he's part demon. And she's very flirtatious with him because she's full demon from the way she talks about it. But I think she's actually half demon also. She's Fully half demon. He's partially half demon. And one of the characters is, you know, of course, obsessed with getting you know, the like holy Trish sword. and Dante. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally obsessed with getting, you know, the holy sword. And one of the other characters is like, yeah, but I mean, weapons are only evil if you're evil. I mean. Hold on. There's games with weapons that have sentience. eaten souls. Sentience. Well, not to even not even sentience. Just uh, I'm thinking of Nightmare. Fantasy Star. Okay, I was thinking of a completely different game. I was thinking of Fantasy Star, where the um, royal line has a sword that has basically eaten all the big baddies in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Feels Ooh. like Elysium. That's the name of the short sword. Feels like to me that eventually, you know, um, maybe they'll come back or, or something. Their souls are stuck in this this thing. It I feel could like become we talked bad. about this during the Zelda episode. Uh, we did. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, this sounds familiar. But like, I was thinking of a particular sword that turned a very, very Good night. Also, look at Zangatsu. Into. It got taken over by the hollow form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) But it turned a very good night into nightmare. Oh, so caliber? Yeah. It turned Siegfried, Soul Edge, turned Siegfried into nightmare. Well, yes and no. Soul Edge started changing Siegfried, and then Nightmare was pulled out of him, and he was two different entities, Nightmare and Siegfried. Yeah. Siegfried used Soul Calibur, and Nightmare used Soul Edge. Yeah. Because Soul Calibur is the good version. Yeah, of course, because there's always a counter. If something suddenly evil, suddenly there's a good version of it in existence well, no. somewhere in the world. Well, the first game was called Soul Edge, and then everything after that's called Soul, Soul Calibur. Calibur. Yeah, it just I haven't even played the newest one. Uh, I've watched my roommate play it. It's eh. You were never really a Soul Calibur fan. My th- the third one's my favorite. I think the f- is it the third one? Fourth one is the one where you can create your own character, which is really good. That's in the, the fifth th- one's when it just came out. Third is third is when they started being able to have your own character because it had the. An entire secondary game to it based around your custom character. No, oh, I think... Because it was on the PS2. Are you sure that wasn't 4? No, nah, I'm sure. I am very sure. I know 4, like... Uh, I don't remember. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't remember. But, I mean, his... I can kind of see the character's argument, you know... In normal... <laughs> in a normal sense... A weapon is only is only as evil as you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's like, "Well, why do we have to seal the sword? This other sword? I mean, it's just a sword, but it's the evil sword of blah da da. But it's just a sword." I've always liked the concept too of like um, when you do things with an object. 
like they become what's the word attuned to those types of things yeah meaning that if you do a lot of atrocious acts with a sword then it could be attuned to influencing that of its wielder to be fair most of the acts you commit with a sword like are atrocious or something like that wow swords no. are a weapon they're meant for killing okay but killing isn't necessarily atrocious that gets back into our final fantasy before. tactics the whole of Ramses' existence. That gets back into our argument of murder is murder. <laughs> murder may be murder, but murder's not necessarily bad. <laughs> wow, way to loop like six episodes together in one episode. Murder may be murder, but murder's not necessarily bad. People and their complex ethics and morals. <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> I mean, that's, that's David, like your if I kill somebody, if I kill somebody to save your life, is that bad? Would you be for thanking, that person? Yes. Well, <laughs> well, yes, but they made the decision to get murdered for your life. Yes. That's. The, I mean, that's the only way I can look at that stuff. Yeah. It's like if somebody threatens my life, then they are putting their, their life, life forfeit. on forfeit. Yes. Like I'm not saying that's not it's they they made a gamble. That's where that com the complicated <laughs> ethics and morality come in. Because you have to have that kind of a mindset if you go into say military service service or law enforcement even. I mean, I mean, to an extent, like there's you, an extent. There you're, you're are like, exceptions. Like with security, you're you're supposed to de-escalate as much as you can. And then if that's not possible, you escalate above what they are at in order to either force them to de-escalate or stop them from being stop able to continue to escalate. Being, yeah, stop them from being a threat. That's, that's, I believe that's exactly how Leos are taught. Yeah. Is to de-escalate if you can. If you can't, then over-escalate. Yeah. They just, no. I mean, you know, in, a, in a combat situation for, you know, Military, it's you attempt to de-escalate. You give a warning shot. You again try to de-escalate. Then it's a kill shot. In most cases. It's not even a, technically a kill shot. It's a disable shot. You are disabling the threat however you need to. Well, yeah, because at that point, they've basically proven that they're there's only one outcome for them for this situation. Yeah. It's probably, that's probably what it is for Leo's then. I mean, that's just. Anyway, um, wait on the <laughs> episode on depressing that and murder. Langris was fun. If you were interested, I would probably say, go ahead and check it out. One of these days we're going to start getting paid for this. Yeah. Not sponsored. <laughs> not yeah, Definitely not sponsored. <laughs> Um, we haven't figured out how to be sponsored yet. <laughs> well, I suppose that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, follow, and share. And also, more importantly, thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.